Okay, this is a recap on what we learned last class, or yeah, last class. Um, to pick, say you have your finished character, and then you need to pick an inspirational color. So for your swatches, go to your swatches panel, and you're going to click on this. You can either use the default right here, or you can look through the libraries. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones like art history, ancient, all these different things. You won't know what they are until you click on them. Let's look at Middle Ages. These are very um, earth tones, not that vibrant. There's another one over here. Kid stuff, pastels, some bright colors here. Most of the colors are also on here. So if you want, if you want to look through those, that's fine. Remember your time. So say I want my inspirational color to be this brick red color. Okay. So I click on that, but then how do we find the color modes? So what you can do is double click on this color. This will pop up. And then this, these are your values. It shows you both of the values. It shows you the RGB values, which is 192, 23, and 44. And then the CMYK values, 5, 100, 85, 17. I know it says percentages, but it's still just the number. So what you would do then is write both sets in your visual journal for your inspirational color for your character. Then once you have that, you to new swatch. This, make sure these are the same values when you hit new swatch. You hit OK. OK. Then after you've done that, once you go to the color guide and I want you to pick a color scheme. So there's complementary color scheme. There's all these different kinds of color schemes here. So I would pick a variety because we are also going to add a background with your character. So don't limit yourself to just complementary. Um, doing something like the compound one or two is good. Also, um, the pentagram is good because you can also use the tints and shades of these colors. So say I pick, let's do compound two. Oops, wrong one. Control Z. Compound two. This one's, all these colors are the true colors. These are the tints and these are the shades. The true colors marked with the arrow, active colors. So then all you would do this is a PNG, so it's not letting me select specific parts. All you would do is click on the color that you want uh, and then select that color, select the piece, and paint it in with that color using this. What you can also do is click on this and hold the Shift key, click down, and drag these to your color palette. What I do is I usually take the last one and I hold shift, click all the way up to black and white, and delete those color swatches because it'll reset. I usually keep my grayscale and my basic color wheel up just in case I need that. Um, so this is your color scheme right here. It's the double red. It's the same color, but these are all your true colors. So if you need a tint and shade of it, it'll pop up. Um, keep the color guide as is so it shows your color scheme. And then you can hold it shift and bring it down to the swatches panel. That's the easiest so that way you can go back and forth with colors instead of clicking and clicking. So that's how you set up your color schemes for your character.